Hi there, Pisces. It's Abby. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so this is going to be um, a, it's a timeless, okay? So no matter when you find it, regardless of the date of time, if the subjects and the sort of story that comes out, if that resonates for you, great. Then it's all yours. Um, if it's not yours, that's okay. There's lots of timeless readings. I'm asking for the information that needs to come out for the people who are most likely to find this message and would be aided by it, okay? So I have a whole playlist of other timeless readings that you can go ahead and check out and see if what you're looking for is in there, okay? There's like 300 videos. If you see a playlist on my channel that has like 300 videos, that's the one. Feel free to click that and uh, see what's in there for you. Thanks to all my returning subscribers. You guys are the best. If you're a returner but you haven't subby subbed yet, I see you. <laughs> I know there's a number of you out there. Um, and it'd be cool if you if you hung out, but whatever. I'm I'm happy that you're just here. If you're new, thanks for taking a chance on this channel. So this is going to be looking at um, the energy that you're currently in and then where you're going, okay? So I'm going to look at, this is the energy oracle. I'm going to take a look at what energy you're currently sitting in and then where you are headed, all right? Um, I'm going to look for more details with the tarot. And if there's any sort of specific challenges that show up, I'm going to ask for guidance from the cards as well, okay? So we have... Ooh, lovely. We have action. I love it, Pisces. Okay, so there is something here. You're in a place right now of trying to take action on things. You may have a bit of a duality. This is reminding me a bit of the things like the chariot card, right? We have two steeds, two horses. Um, they're both moving forward. There's one that's a little bit behind. One of them is kind of rushing a little bit more, so it could feel like um, there are some areas in life where you're going a little bit faster. There's other areas where it's a little slower or where you might just internally be feeling a little more hesitant. Okay. But it feels like very much the energy that's sitting, um, the, the Pisces that this is for at least is sitting in is one of being like, all right, the, the movement forward is the thing that is the most important. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look. I'm just going to do a quick little timeline spread and sort of see what kind of energy you may have previously been working through. I might pause from time to time. I have my ringer on on my main phone, just a heads up because someone is supposed to drop something off for me today. Uh, let's see here. Mm, okay. So Pisces, this area of action that you are finding yourself in right now, this age, this sort of energy, um, this is very much you focused. We have the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. You could very well be dealing with uh, another Pisces or a water sign person quite possibly. But this is showing me that after a time of really taking into consideration, perhaps being very compassionate with yourself, guarding your secrets and your emotions and not really telling anyone about them, you experienced a kind of disappointment, right? And that this is sort of sitting in the center of where we're going from here. There was something that perhaps um, happened or that you came to realize with this Three of Swords that sort of in a way is the foundation for whatever this is. I feel like I've been getting similar stories like this sometimes in the readings that there's a pain or a disappointment, a certain thing that acted almost like a wake up call. And you've got more Pisces cards. You've got the moon at the bottom of this deck. It's just, you, this is so much about you, right? And I feel like it's almost like if there's a stage in your life that you were going to sit here and say, um, this is a time when things change. This is a time when I realized that there was sort of a turnabout in place, or this is the time when I had the, a tough conversation. Swords can sometimes be conversations and communication. Um, and especially if it was related to protecting your stability in the actual 3D. So protecting your energy, holding on to what matters, saving, biding your time, um, that kind of thing. I feel like that has provided you with this now <laughs> page of wands energy <laughs> or even though this I kind of like this page because he seems freaked out but at the same time he's on a journey right so it's it's like I'm willing to go and learn and get on the new adventure it's a little much 
it feels a little weird. Maybe you've been in a place of contemplation and maybe pulling away a bit, being sort of cheap, <laughs> not cheap. I wanted to like miserly with your energy, like really protecting yourself, um, protecting your money, protecting your home and being like, I'm only doling out what makes sense and what matters. And now it's sort of more of a time of like, this is crazy. I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm willing to take the leap. Okay. I want to take a look a little bit here. Yeah. So your six of pentacles here, um, for some of you, you could have received some sort of gift or assistance um, from a particular person or from the universe. There's earth showing up here. For others, it feels like you were really giving and part of your emotional compassion towards yourself, this emotional journey and finding yourself in this queenly type energy, this queen stage of development in the tarot. Uh, was about recognizing the give and take what you're putting into things and whether or not that was a good investment and if it paid off um ooh, <laughs> the high priestess with the emperor very nice okay so more fours and stability so this is showing me that there's secrets and intuition there's things that you knew um that were sort of coming in from outside of yourself right sort of channeling things down through your intu your intuitive senses and that that was helping you to form a plan, get organized and take action. The emperor absolutely takes action and they are very, very strategic about the way that they do it. Um, for some of you, this could even mean um, if you're into the whole divine masculine or feminine energy, you could maybe have an Aries person who's a, um, of importance to you. But this could also be that you are leaning more into your masculine senses or what we typically call masculine sort of attributes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the three of swords is being clarified by the knight of wands. So this is telling me um, that I feel like for some of you, there's a couple different things I'm getting on this. For some, it seems like the disappointment could have been associated with someone who was a very passionate sort of sexual exciting um, encounter or sort of had that energy to them or inspired those kinds of energy or feelings okay um, for others this really feels like you could have been sort of almost like disappointed in I'm wanting to say risks you didn't take yeah see we got the hierophant this is like um, conforming, conventionality. Um, could have for some been maybe like a higher level commitment, um, whether that was in education or in the way that you ran your relationships or what you were trying to do here. Um, yeah, Taurus energy, sort of stubborn, just going by the rules. It's like wanting to do things by the book. Um, feels like that might have been part of what was upsetting. We have the four of pentacles here, like I said, is all about holding on to that energy, being careful, being wise, saving. Um, there might be ways that you're kind of realizing you've been expending your energy where it wasn't appreciated. And now the balance needs to come in, right? We have justice sitting here, right? Could be Libra energy. You may have been withholding or protecting yourself against a, a Libra person quite possibly. Um, but for a lot of you, I think there was realizing this sort of sense of internal justice that needed to happen. And so you're finding yourself in your present moment being very focused on like what is just and what is right and not just what is exciting for the moment or what is doing whatever, which, hey, you know, consenting adults can do whatever the hell they want. So who cares if um, something is delicious or wonderful to you for a period of time? Um, but it feels like there's been a, a reevaluation of like what it is exactly that you want your stability to be based upon and how that will sort of balance things for you and create a, an almost energy of you having personal justice and truth um, in your in your day to day life. This page of wands, <laughs> the high priest again, the hierophant. Um, so this makes me feel like. I want to take another look at this. Oh, the Page of Swords reversed. Interesting. Was that the only reversal in the deck? It was. It was. Goodness gracious. Okay. So this really looks like your energy and your drive, even though you are freaked out a little bit. You might be advising, um, taking advice from other people. 
but what's really kind of coming to me is more of a sense of taking action against the things um, that I almost feel like kept you sort of quiet. You may have previously been sort of a quiet student of certain things, could be an air sign person. Um, this could also be for a couple of you, <laughs> like we have two pages which can sometimes symbolize children. So it could be that you have maybe a kid or a couple of kids and you're kind of looking at what you want to teach them and model to them. Um, of course, only take it if it resonates, but it seems like the Hierophant is often when we're taking kind of instruction and we're learning, we're, we're sort of listening to authority, we're looking at what conformity is like. And I feel like this sort of mastery of new thoughts and ideas was, um, it's something that you're now taking another look at, okay? You're taking another look at, and I feel like you're, instead of everything being in the brain <laughs> and being in your mind and pouring over things and trying to learn as much as you can before you take action, it's now more like this might get weird, but I'm going for it, okay? So let's take a look at where you may be going with this. We love it, victory. <laughs> Gorgeous. This is really nice. It's 28, so that comes to a 10. So victories, this can be a personal victory. You could get recognition in your fields. You could be getting recognition in your social sphere. Um, something that you've made an accomplishment, you've really kind of moving towards a space of uh, being a winner <laughs> and, and in your own eyes too, being very important. 28 um, reduces down to a 10. So that tells me that this is an important stage. This one, uh, 17, turns into an eight. So eights are a lot about sort of the mastery, um, mastery of things, apprenticeship, taking your knowledge and turning them into wisdom, right? What did I learn from all of that stuff? And now it's like time to put things into actual action to keep attaining more. And that this victory, while it also has um, sort of eight qualities to it, I feel like this has a lot to do with you completing something, right? completing something and it doesn't have to be as big as say like a karmic cycle this can be you completing a project completing a field of study um completing a home purchase completing a workout program <laughs> complete you know completing a competition for a new job whatever that happens to be um but definitely moving towards some sense of victory here you will find okay from what i'm seeing here that there is a total shift in the energies that are around you we have the shadow side which is the devil card here the tower the five of pentacles the three of wands and the nine of cups isn't that an interesting <laughs> an interesting sequence so with the the devil energy here and the tower a necessity in your future as you're moving towards this sort of into this space where you want to go towards victory, needing to take a look at the places where you might be limiting yourself, focusing on the wrong things, getting obsessed with the wrong stuff, um, allowing the wrong people, places and things back into your life by even just some, sometimes it's as simple as someone says, hey, what's up? I haven't talked to you for a while. And there's someone you've told yourself you're not going to engage with. And then for some reason deciding, do, like according to the rules of society, like the Hierophant, I, I, it's rude not to say hi back and maybe you're a little curious, you know, just one example. But that's sometimes how we can find ourselves going back into this unbalanced stuff. Even when we have told ourselves there's a, I'm doing this, um, maybe you're blocking or taking other people out of your life or, or behaviors out of your life that you're trying to address. We'll slowly let them come back because sometimes those rules of society, uh, the pressures that come from outside of us will encourage us to do that because of the norms, right? That's what the Hierophant is all about. So it feels like you sort of addressing those things definitely shakes things up. And that is pretty common, right? A lot of the time when we uh, set boundaries, healthy boundaries for ourselves for whatever we need in that period of time, um, especially if it doesn't fit in with what someone else wants, <laughs> it can... Uh, it can really cause some uproar. Yeah, there could be that there's a total change in perspective and strategy here. There's a battle that you choose to fight that's more important than anything else. Um, this could have to do with a particular argument or a blow up in some kind of communication with the Tower and the Five of Swords here. But it really does cause a transformation for you, if you can see there, with that dragonfly imagery. That's almost like 
a lot of the time the death card can have butterflies and, and dragonflies and things like that on it because it really causes such a huge shift and I'm feeling like a lot of that is going to be in the way that you communicate with the shadow side you got the sun so for when it could possibly be some maybe Capricorn or Leo placements or Leo you know people with those placements but this feels like confronting those things <laughs> if you see here like the light that's behind this person um this sort of shadowy figure the shadow side that's shining the light into the cave it's like you're emerging from that <laughs> with a lot more clarity and happiness right a lot more freedom um and not feeling like you necessarily need to be defined by those things in that cave and those fears and insecurities and whatever that is for you anymore and i'm seeing that sort of represented here by the five of pentacles so in your earthly realm um five of pentacles talks about the things that we deal with out here in the 3d and the physical on the day-to-day -day basis so you may um, experience changes in your financial situation or feel like this is really a time for you to address those things especially if they come from a place of lack or self-worth mm -hmm. nine of swords but the king of wands some of it, it could be possibly tied to a fire sign person quite possibly but this feels like for a lot of you getting your ducks in a row in a way because i feel like you're ending your current cycle as you're moving through this this energy of achieving action discovering action getting things moving they're in the page mode right um and i feel like there's something here that may um cause you to look at things and put everything in order now Nine of Swords can sometimes be a card of anxiety or cycles or nightmares. It's also a time that I see of it being like thoughts, us putting everything in a row, right? And kind of going, where did this idea of money come from? Where did this idea of limitation come from? Where did all of that come from? And I mean, if you've been processing your shadow and coming out from um, outside of it, you may still encounter some of those things, but that's natural. And then it allows you to be able to take some really decisive and swift action moving forward. Um, because the King of Wands, they go out and they get what they want. That's King of Wands energy. Uh, could be possibly Leo energy, especially. You've got quite a bit of that. Or for some of you, this could be even things like a mentor or a business person. Because King of Wands often are people who are like entrepreneurs or um, that kind of energy here as well. You, you then go to the Three of Wands and the Nine of Cups which is you then i like how your three is in the middle here but this three of swords up here no one enjoys a three of swords moment but a lot of the time they're necessary right and we need to kind of process those and then now you're going into a three that's more about deals and expansion and trying to figure out where you're going to go next preparing for an adventure and um really kind of committing to having some of your ships come in it's going to require some work and some patience on your part okay but oof, more aries energy but you are manifesting something big here something big you're finally kind of realizing that you can bring things down to earth and create your own reality around you um it may try your patience right <laughs> because there's feels like you're doing a lot of work to get yourself there um, especially in like a spiritual and emotional sense, but it's definitely strengthening your resolve and your focus. Um, I love it. I love this stuff. <laughs> we have here your last card in this victory sequence is the nine of cups. So it's wishes fulfilled. It's feeling, you know, you're bringing everything you have to the table that you bought and built yourself, baby. You've got all of those cups of the things that you've emotionally attained and it's in a it's you now get to decide who you invite to the party right who's allowed in that energy i like this the chariot boom cancer energy swift movement victory the power of the will coming in here i feel like for some of you especially if you're manifesting something like a new car or a move to a certain place or travel of some kind um that looks very positive for that. And then boom, the fool, right? Um, wow, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. So it's helping you to move on and to really start something new here, Pisces. 
What do you have under here? King of Cups with your emotions much more in line, much more balanced, um, feeling in control of them that they're not pushing you around anymore, right? <laughs> your feelings are not kind of uh, getting in the way anymore. That's beautiful. I like it. So let's take a look. I'm going to give you a couple different moon cards. So for the present energy, what is something that Pisces might need to see or hear? Ah. It's a time to give rather than to take. Now, you do have the Six of Pentacles energy. Um, and to me, with the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is very focused. If you see here on their own emotional cup, make sure that if you are someone who is relied upon by other people, um, that you are giving to yourself, <laughs> that you are not just endlessly draining yourself and taking from your own reserves um, and allowing others to take from you, because I feel like that's probably been a big lesson for you. And then, I mean, come on, confirmation. It's time for action. <laughs> time for action indeed it is in the future place that you're going to what are some things that pisces will need to see especially about this stuff here because i feel like sometimes people see towers or the devil and they just go to the worst possible thing show the world the real you <laughs> hell yeah that is sun energy right there right this is total freedom being like understanding exactly who you are exactly what you want and the freedom that comes along with it beautiful full moon in Aquarius may mean something may not and that the energy is gaining momentum energy is gaining momentum here beautiful okay what else do I want to give you I want to give you one of these I haven't done these in a little bit this is the essential oil oracle I want to know if there's any guidance about what Pisces might be experiencing or thinking or feeling, because especially with this high priestess energy and trying to organize, um, what is something they need to consider while they're sort of charging up their power right now? Yeah, okay, it's your awareness, all right? Um, Lang Lang might be important to you to work with, or it might be something that you like. Um, this, these have trigger statements in the truth. It says, I don't know what to do. And the true statement is every moment is a new opportunity. And it says, take time today to engage your sense and create the tension that has been dividing your head and heart is leaving three of swords, right? <laughs> what a great thing to come out with this being center stage, the heart, and then the swords talking about the mind, right? The mind playing tricks on the heart, the mind laboring the heart the mind kind of weighing the heart down right take time to engage your senses right that tension you're working through it you're working through it okay this is a mess but who cares i prefer to get messy how perfect marjoram so this is comfort saying people cannot be trusted, but the truth is actually that you can trust your heart. Your beautiful heart is ready to open trust that you will be able to discern who is best to walk with you, right? You're the guarding that energy and then wanting to make sure that truth and justice are the things that are most important. Okay, so if you're dealing with that right now, a little bit of guidance for you. For the future, as this begins to unfold for whomever this reading is for, what do they need to hear or see? How, like seriously, we have your connections coming into focus, the trigger saying it's too much, but the truth is actually that you're grounded in your body. You are grounded in your body. Use your empathic abilities to connect with others, discern the information you receive, and do not take on what is not your own. Okay? I feel like a lot of you, this has to do with how you, this looks like someone to me changing their communication style, what they accept from other people, and how that might totally kind of cause a little bit of, of blowback, right? Um, if we haven't allowed ourselves to take care of ourselves for a while, happens, right? In your connections. We have cleansing, and this says, I will never change, lies, right? To tell us those are lies. But the truth is that in each moment you are a new me, 
reinvention, right? The Fool card showing up here with the Chariot and you and the Nine of Cups, so like a wish come true, saying that you're supported as you release habits and limiting patterns that are no longer serving your highest good, right? Beautiful, beautiful stuff here, Pisces. I feel like that makes total sense, given what's come out. This is what I got for you this time, Pisces. I really hope that whatever was in here, um, that if this reading was for you, that it was helpful to you. If this didn't ring for you, feel free to check out one of my other readings. Um, and I thank you again for your wonderful energy. And I will see you on the next one, okay? Take care of yourselves.